Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our temporarily Omega journey. I'm uh, kind of starting in media res here because I had very different plans for today. I was going to try and do a home front uh, operation since I have four other accounts that I could team up with, so then we'd have the full five. I wanted to do the uh, Metaliminal Meteor one, but none of them seem to be available, so... Um, <clears throat> the only uh, industrialist one that I can see is art Abyssal Artifact Recovery, which from what I've read, is dangerous. And since this would be my first time doing one of these, I thought starting with a dangerous one, maybe not a great idea. So, um, <clears throat> there was also a bunch of logistical stuff I had to take care of. Like, um, the plan was <clears throat> well, and still is. I uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get a, I'll give it another try. But the plan is three ventures and two scythes, and just tank it, um, rather than trying to kill all of the. Uh, uh, the rats that spawn. So, seemed like that was the recommended approach. Um, I, you know, being a mostly solo player, I really haven't done much um, in terms of fleet operations outside of mining and high sec. So Lodgy is not really a big part of that calculation in that case. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, <clears throat> so part of what I've been doing kind of in the background um, for the last month, basically, because um, I knew I was going to do the uh, weekend fleet pass for Omega on this character was uh, <coughs> building some scythes um, and actually uh, acquiring the blueprint and and uh, um, <coughs> researching it and stuff, which I've been working on for for a while. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, building, building some of those, training up, uh, Lodgy skills on some of my other characters, and, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's been, a been a thing, um, it would be cool if there was a metaliminal asteroid uh, site available. But that doesn't seem to be the case, so... Um, just doing our normal thing, which... Uh, or... And let's see, drifters. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm not gonna active. try to fill up on ore this time. We will. Go get ourselves some drifters.
<clears throat> Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. may hear some other mining sounds in the background. I've got another character uh, that needed to mine some more for skill points, so I am in fact multiboxing at the moment. Um, <clears throat> All right, what am I doing? Right. Abyssals. Uh, the other thing that I found that was, you know, maybe a little bit funny was that uh, the other two characters that I had intended to fly ventures didn't have any ventures. Um, because they normally fly hulks, so that's what they have. Um, so had to fly them to heck and get them outfitted with some ventures. And yeah, it ended up being a whole logistics thing, but now... I've got that all set up. So hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll have access to a metaliminal, metaliminal asteroid meteoroid. Sorry, metaliminal meteoroid site. And uh, we can do that and record it. Drive and that would be cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess they were just all been taken this evening. sleepers. Awesome. <laughs> Kill the Aegis first. learned from playing WoW is uh, always focus down the healer first. I've learned from 
Eve, or maybe you haven't learned, but should, is don't forget to uh, turn on your booster.
say. No way I'm getting 12 and 20 drones today. Even though it's drones, that's too many.
Drive active. Uh. Raid Deserters Hideout. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Let's see. All right. So <clears throat> let me see if it's this, let's see, yeah, here we go. All right, so, bag spot, supplies back, need to be tackled and destroyed before too many escape. All right, ship restrictions, it's like T1 cruisers basically, right? Oh. Huh. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting Navy ships to be okay. But, so let's see. Cruiser, destroyer, frigate, hauler. Interesting. Okay. So haulers, tacklers... <clears throat> Enforcers. Warp disruption modules for tacklers. Haulers should have sufficient cargo space. That shouldn't be a problem. Together to help the sovereign faction by completing operations and providing industrial exploration or combat support. Exploration. Huh. And that's one of those where it's like, okay, seems like what's required here is tackle some ships, blow them up. Holler loots it. I guess. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so... If I could take this ship, I guess this character would be a enforcer. 
Seems like it would make sense. Maybe two tacklers, a hauler, and then what, another enforcer? Maybe. anything to say about it. Probably similar to this, the raid narcotics lab. Kill the haulers that spawn. Take the narcotics packages. Uh, that they drop to the obelisk that's 55 kilometers away. They've got one lodgy, one hauler, three DD or two DD and one point. Disruptor. So the warp, warp disruptor just prevents them from warping away. And, uh, <coughs> and they're using. Yolner Rage. Heavy assault missiles. Also got a T1 Caracal version. And. Garmer. What the heck is a Garmer? Point. So, signal amplifier, cross link, control system, light missile launcher. Warp disruptor. I don't know what point means in this case. <clears throat> Let's 
So it seems like if it's similar to the narcotics one, then I could probably do it with three of these guys. Basically this fit with uh, uh, fleet issue scythes with uh, Well, be a little little modification to the fit because you want a micro warp drive so we can get around the battlefield quickly and a warp disruptor. A laundry cruiser and a hauler. Well, but again, the uh, problem there being that I don't have those ships already. So. I'd have to get all that together, which will take a little time. I am. I am building a bunch of scythe holes, so maybe I can trade those in tomorrow uh, for fleet issue uh, let's see <laughs> Excuse me. So let's see. This guy's going. For metaluminal meteoroid. Galente. Oh, still using a scythe. That might be a that might be a more du doable. So he's doing it with four ventures, one launchy. That might be. That might be even more du doable. Doing, let's see. So he's got T1 Venture and T2 Venture options here. Uh, <coughs> the T2, well, my Venture fit is passive tanked with an afterburner so I think that's probably um, it doesn't have a mining laser upgrade so the mining would be a little bit slower but be ultimately somewhere between um, between these two in terms of 
efficiency and survivability. Actually, probably more survivable than his T2. I don't know why he's got a survey scanner on that. Like, who cares? <clears throat> Um, and then he's using a scythe for heals. Scythe fit seems like it might be all right. I might, uh, I might take a look at that. Mm, okay, he's relying on bots, on uh, drones more than, than my fit does. So he's got medium shield maintenance bots four of those and then a light shield maintenance spot so is that true yeah <clears throat> Home front emergency aid, he's just using five of those. Anyway, that's all something to think about in the future. Um, not for right now. So that's going to be it for me for today. So until next time, have a good one.